Hello everybody, today we will see the difference between multi-processing and multi-threading. In multi-processing, two or more programs run concurrently. Example, hearing music, playing video games, browsing. Each running program is called a process. In multi-threading, two or more parts of the same program run concurrently. Each independent part called thread. In multi-processing, CPU has to switch between multiple programs, so context switch is expensive. In multi-threading, CPU has to switch between multiple threads. Here context switch is cheap. Inter-process communication is expensive in multi-processing because they run in different address space. Inter-process communication is cheap in multi-threading because they run in same address space. In multi-processing, processes are heavyweight. Each process requires its own address space. In multi-threading, threads are lightweight. Threads belong to same program, so it shares address space. Multi-processing is classified as symmetric and asymmetric. In symmetric multi-processing, each processor in the system run task in operating system. In asymmetric multiprocessing, only master processor run task in operating system. Multithreading is not classified. Multiprocessing uses more resources. Multithreading uses fewer resources. Multiprocessing increases the computing speed of the system. Multithread increases the responsiveness of the system. In multiprocessing, the creation of process is slow because it switches between the address spaces. In multi-threading, the creation of thread is faster because no switching between address spaces occur. In multi-processing, if one process is blocked, then no other process can execute until the first process is unblocked. While in multi-threading, one thread is blocked and waiting, other thread in same task can run. In multi-processing, each process operates independently of others. In multi-threading, one thread can read, write or change another thread's data. Thus, the difference between multi-processing and multi-threading is explained. Thank you.